everybody, Better Daddy, welcome back to the Collector Daddy channel. Now, me and Collector Kid have come a bit obsessed with uh, Pokemon. So we're going to show you today some Pokemon cards. And this is going to be the start of some of our uh, videos following the whole sort of Pokemon series. Now, there may be old ones, there may be new ones. These aren't the most recent sets, but they're still quite current sets. They're part of the Sun and Moon uh, range, and they're from Ultra Prism. And we've got two theme decks here. So what we're going to do is just to give you a brief explanation of these cool card sets, uh, show you all the cards... And then, uh, yeah, hopefully you get an idea of what these card decks can include. And if you're going to play the game or if you just like to collect the cards, which we do both, because uh, we think it's pretty awesome now. Um, so we're going to, um, yeah, we're just going to break down for you and you can see what there is. So we've got today uh, the two theme decks from Ultra Prism, uh, which is part of the Sun and Moon trading card collection from Pokemon, uh, from Nintendo and the Pokemon Company. Um, so... A theme deck basically consists of a full deck of cards that you can use to play the game. So you can go out and buy one of these and you've got a really good loaded deck to actually play the card game. Um, they're geared up with cards that work well together and they follow different sort of patterns. So to give you an example, the Garchomp uh, Max Strike, it's called, theme deck, is based around sort of uh, their Dragon-type Pokemon, uh, but it's powerful top speed attacks. Um, so it's a quick attack deck. Um, so it's pretty cool. And then you've got Empoleums, which is called Imperial Command. Um, and it's an ice and snow deck. Uh, water types, they can overwhelm and freeze out foes with perfect timing. Ice, wind and wave and, and the wave of the Imperial Command theme deck. So they've both got cool different uh, attributes and they both come from the same series. It's a very, very good deck to play against each other as well. Because uh, we actually bought a set of these decks uh, so that we could play with them first to see what they're like. Uh, collector kids uh, sort of use them in battle I've used a Garchomp one and I know he's using Pelham as well and they're very very good sets they play very well so what we'll do we'll open them up now and we'll show you now if anybody doesn't know a theme deck they normally cost about $12.99 in the shops um, and like I say it has a full deck of 60 cards with everything you need you get 60, mon uh, 60 <laughs> Pokemon card deck a card checklist a metallic coin which is uh, you need it for some of the cards. Uh, Two-player play mat and a rule sheet. A code card to play the deck online. So if you do play the online trading card game, uh, you get a full deck effectively using this card, which is pretty cool. And you get damage counters. Now, they are a godsend, uh, to be fair. I didn't understand before I started playing the game the, the sort of importance of those, but it's very good when you're playing games to record how you've attacked people. And it gives you a rundown here. So this is card number 395 and the deck number. And it gives you a rundown of all the cards. And as you'll see, there's multiple cards because... I'm I'm not going to go fully into the rules of Pokemon with you now, uh, cards, but you can have up to four of the same card um, in a deck. Um, so that's why you'll see there's multiple cards in there. So what we'll do, we'll open this up first, this Imperial Command uh, deck from Sun and Moon Ultra Prism, uh, and we'll show you exactly how this works. So you open it up, you've got inside a cool see-through box. Now this is cool because it's a good way to keep them unless you've got like we've got special containers and things you can buy but it does come in a cool little bo uh, sort of deck box you can store everything in. Now on the front is a um, shiny variant of one of the cards of Empoleum. Now effectively in this pack you've got enough to get you to the stage two which is apart from if you used to use like uh, a GX or an EX attack or something, it's the best type of Pokemon that is for that character. It's his final evolution. So you've got that card in there, and they always put that one on top with the shiny just to show you that you've got a stage two of him in there. He's the main sort of, I guess you'd say, the champion of the deck. Uh, and that is Empoleon. He evolves from Prinplup, who evolves from another card, which we'll see in a minute, so that's cool. You've got your online card, the code card there. I'm not going to show you the code card because we may do a video with these, but you get a code card there, and you can use that uh, online uh, to play your game. So that is pretty cool, using this deck. Now, you get your deck of cards in here. So you've got 59 cards in there because you've got one there as well. And it comes in a cool deck box that you can use, and these are handy to carry your deck down round, but also to remember what deck it is. If you just want to quick, quick, think quickly, I want to play with an ice deck, you've got a deck ready there. This is the awesome little coins you get. Now, these are very good because a lot of the moves and attacks, you have to flip and maybe get a head or a tails. Like, if you do... Uh, Let's have a look. Uh, no, that hasn't got one. But basically, sometimes it'll be flip the card, and it'll say on here... 20 times so or, or it'll say x which means times and sometimes it can be the flip of the coins so that's why you get that coin uh, that's cool we've got here a cool little checklist these are very handy if you're actually collecting the cards as well um what's new in the pokemon trading card expansion it tells you sun and moon ultra prism so it tells you about the gx cards the prism star cards 
Um, that's pretty cool. I didn't realise that actually. I haven't read that properly. Uh, so Prism Star cards, a bit like that. They're like the parallel cards, which is the shiny version. Rather than having the shiny inside, it's the shiny outside. A uh, Lolan Pokemon. Now, if anybody's playing this deck, I just want to quickly cover this. It's very handy. Give you an example. You could have Meowth four times. Because the name is different, it's Alolan Meowth, because he's a different variant, you can have him four times. So you effectively get away with having the same card eight times in a deck, which is very, very good if you're good at playing um, with a card. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But then on the back, this is the thing for the collectors. Um, it's got all the cards you can get. And then it shows you, like, standard set. And then it'll say, like, parallel set. So, you know, there's a parallel variant or a standard set foil, which is, like, one of these ones here. Um, so that's pretty cool. And that shows you the full collection. So it's really good if you are collecting this set, just to get yourself at least one theme deck. Uh, so you've got the list there. Um, these are your counters. Now these are important because if you do a damage, say you do 50 damage to someone, you can put one of these counters on top of the card when you're playing, and it's good to record that. You've got a GX card here, say if you had a GX move in playing, if you'd done the GX move, um, so that you know you can't do it again because you're only allowed one GX move per game and if you do beat a gx player um you get to take two of their prize cards but it doesn't matter in this deck because this deck doesn't come none of these decks these theme decks come with gx cards unless it's a special sort of deck variant and this is the cool game board now this is ultimately what you play all your games on and they're styled in uh, basically the two different deck for theme decks you can get you've got this is an empoleon and, oh, and I've just torn it. It's just as well we've got a couple of these. <laughs> but basically, be careful when you open it. Um, you've got here... Doesn't want to open all this one. Look at this. This is made really bizarre. Let's pop that down and pop that down. You've got there your card battle arena. So effectively, what you have is you have your discard pile, your deck, your prize cards, your bench, uh, where your main active Pokemon's going, where you battle from. But it's cool because it's got Garchomp, because they always do for per set, so per like Ultra Prism set, they do two types of decks. You've got a Garchomp deck, and then the other theme deck you have is an Empoleum deck. So that is pretty cool. So that's Empoleum side, which is who we've got today, and you've got Garchomp on the other side. Uh, on the back of it is very handy because if you've never played the game before, it's the full, pretty much the full rules of how to play the game. It's not completely extensive. There's certain things you might think, well, how does that work and what, you know, what is that exactly? But pretty much it's got everything in there that you can need to do. It tells your card types about the energies and everything. Not going to bore with that because chances are if you're watching this video, there's a good chance you've probably played Pokemon cards before or at least know how to play it or I have the ability to read up on how to play it. So I'll pop that to one side. But what we want to do really is go through obviously the deck of cards and show you the deck of cards now. Uh, so yeah, we've got everything else there. We've got a cool coin. Now in this deck we have, where is it? Here are our cards. So you always get 15 energy in these. It's to make sure that you've got enough to play a game. We've got lots of water energies there. Uh, we've got a Corsola. Now, Corsola is quite a cool Pokemon. Um, it's got some good... Uh, they search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon and put them into your bench to shuffle it. Um, and it tells you at the top it's a basic card for anybody who doesn't know. So you know it's a basic, so it's a starter Pokemon. So you can play them in your active Pokemon position or from your bench straight away. Uh, Empoleum stays two. So this is effectively the same as this card here, except it's the non-shiny variant. As you can see in here... It's shiny, you've seen here it's not. So that is your different, that's your like your foil card, your foil variant of that card. And there's two in there because you want two Empoleums in the deck, because uh, he's a good powerful card. Um you got another energy now pinple up. Um so that's your first card for Empoleon. That is the initial card you have. Uh his attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Um, you can pick any Pokemon, that's the thing. It's not your active Pokemon. This little dude, with one thing, can do 20 to any. So if there's any bit moved to the bench, he can still attack them. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but he's the first stage of Empoleum. Uh, you then got Sophocles. Uh, he discard two piles from your hand if you do draw four cards. So you can get rid of two of your cards when you draw four. So that's a good uh, support card. Another water. Weasel there. Um, and a basic move. He's cool. He's one of the Pokemon. How? Uh, he's always a good card to have because you can draw three cards with him. He's a good support card. Aqua Patch. Now, you attach your water energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So that uh, basically means you can recover one of your waters. Uh, so that's cool. Now, Manaphy. Uh, 
he's quite a new one to me. We've not really used him uh, much, but he has sh shuffle five water energy cards when you discard a into your deck. So one of his moves gives you the ability to get water cards back. Now, that's why it's very handy in this game, because you can put him out there, get five cards back if you need some more energy, and then put him out of the bench if you want. So he's pretty cool. It's very handy, and then you can see how they've tailored these packs to work very well. Uh, print pull up. He's got a bubble beam, uh, which is cool, and he evolves from Piplup, so it goes Piplup, Primplup, and then Empoleum. So that is the full evolution of him, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Professor Kukoi, uh, he's good. Uh, you get to draw two cards, and he attacks you 20 more damage. Very good. A Lowland Sand Shrew. Now, that's a different picture of the Lowland Sand Shrew than some of the other ones you can get in this collection, so that's pretty cool. You've got a Lowland Sand Shrew there. Uh, Snova, he's awesome. Uh, who else have we got? Oh, water. Float Salt. Now, he evolves from Weasel. So that is uh, Weasel's second level. So that's cool. He's stage one. Pimple up again because, of course, we have another Empoleum. Uh, another Water Energy, as you can see. A Bomber Snow, which is from Snova. Now, he's quite tough. He's got a lot of energy and his uh, attack. It takes a lot to get it up. You need four energy cards, but it does 80. And uh, Blessings of the Frost. When you place one of your hands, evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may... Um, attach an energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon, so it gets you the ability to save one of your cards. So as you can see, this deck is built a lot around getting the water energy and getting going. Timer Ball, uh, standard uh, trainer card, water. Lily, draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. So it's the same, but this is a different image than on the standard Lily card, on the other Lily card, so that's pretty cool. Water. Manaphy again. Uh, a skateboard, a retreat cost of Pokemon is attached to his one star less and it can retreat even if it's asleep or paralyzed. Good way of getting a character out there. Uh, Alolan Sand Slash. Now, obviously, he's the evolution of the Alolan Sand Shrew. So that is pretty cool. Slush Rush. That's awesome. Uh, Corsola again, because uh, we want two Corsolas in the deck. Water NG, Pokemon Fan Club. Find two basic Pokemon and put them in your deck. That's cool. Weasel again. Uh, Timer Ball again. Float Soul. Uh, energy, water energy, Piplup uh, again. So you've got another Piplup there. A How again, a water, a Sophocles, a Snova, uh, a water, an escape rope. Uh, each player switches their active Pokemon on their bench Pokemon. That's good if they've got a really tough one, you need to get it out of battle because you're losing. Uh, a Bomber Snow again, and a Lowland Sand Slash again. Obviously, just to evolve so that you've got a couple more of those tough characters. Rescue Stretcher, put a Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. Uh, lots of water energies. Pokemon Fan Club. Prim Club again, of course, because we need that to evolve the second Empoleon. A Lowland Sand Slash, a uh, Sand Shrew again. An Ultra Ball, Energy, Snover, and Professor Kukai. So that is that pack. So as you can see, they've geared it up quite well um, to make sure you've always got enough energy to do a lot of the attacks. So it's quite a cool deck. Now, don't forget as well, um, it's got weaknesses on there. Um, and so if you look at Empoleon as an example... Um, his weakness is electricity. So obviously water doesn't mix with electricity. And that's sort of how the Pokemon cards work. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So that is our first deck, uh, which was the Imperial Command. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So we'll show you now the other deck. Let's just move these cards out of the way so we can see it. Um, but it is a cool collection, this one. It's a very good game to battle with. Um, I have used this deck um, to fight once or twice. I think out of two games, I think I won... I won one, actually, thinking about it. So, uh, yeah, it, it's there or thereabouts. It's 50-50. So that's pretty cool. And you get that. You get your cards. You get your online cards. You get all your little bits and bobs. And you get all your cool little box to store everything in. So that is our first deck. Now, I'll show you the second deck now from this collection. Um, I'm not going to go through it all because I'm not going to cover off the bases. I'll just cover with you. Um, but that's that deck. Here we go. So this is the second deck. So this is the Sun and Moon Ultra Prism uh, Mac Strike theme deck. And like I said, this is like a high speed, powerful attack deck. Same again on here. Shows you all the cards available that are in this set. Uh, but let's open it up and take a look. If you open this to the one side, it tells you it's a UK packet. Um, let's just have a look if I've done it. No, I haven't. One of these here tells you it's the UK variant of the pack when you open it up. Uh, tell you, oh, that's it. Yeah, it tells you made for the UK here. Uh, SMB English PCD box. So obviously when it's made, you know that's going into the English market, which is the market I'm in. Um, so that's pretty cool. Now, is it again exactly the same here? We have our uh, deck of cards. We have Garchomp. We have our 
board, which is exactly, I'm not going to show you, it's exactly the same as the one in the last one. Uh, obviously, it's just loaded out with guard shot. That one was loaded out with a water one first. This one's loaded out, folded so that you've got the guard shot one first because that's what this deck is. So that's pretty cool. You've got your tokens again. Um, that's awesome. You've got the little Sun and Moon Prism Guide, um, which again is the same. But now let's take a look. So our little coin is a Garchomp coin. That's pretty cool. It's a nice uh, Garchomp coin. Um, these are very, very cool. I like these coins. We collect these. We've got lots of these now. Uh, that's pretty cool. And now into the deck. So we have got in this deck, we have got our Garchomp, uh, which is the shiny variant again. And we'll obviously norm one. The online card. Now let's open the deck and take a look. Now I believe, one, from what I remember, one of my favourite Pokemon is in here. I've got a few favourite Pokemon, and one of them is in here. But we've got uh, Energy, Fighting Energy. Now, this is one at the start of one of my Riolo. Um, so he is the base version, the basic um, version of uh, Lucario. He's one of my favourite Pokemon. So we've got Gabite, which is the stage one, but he's uh, the stage before Garchomp. And uh, he's still pretty good. So that's him there. Energies. Young Goose. Young Goose. And Escape Rope again. Um, so you can do the same as in the other deck we just showed you. Uh, Timer Ball again. Look is a good card. You draw three cards from the bottom of your deck. And that's quite a quite a cool card, actually. I've used that quite a lot. I've played with this deck quite a bit, actually. And I've won quite a few matches with this. Uh, Spirit Tomb. Uh, yeah, he's just sort of basic on his own. He doesn't have any real evolutions or anything. Same with Soul Rock. Uh, but he's good because it allows you to draw extra cards. Um, and that one, you can put two support cards from your discard part. So this deck, you can get lots and lots. And uh, one of the things you can do is get lots and lots of cards back out of your deck. Just like the other one, actually. And Gibble, he's the first stage of Garchomp. You have Gibble, Gabite, and Garchomp. A uh, Hippopotamus, which is a Hippopotamus-looking one. Uh, got our energy. Cynthia. Um, now, Cynthia is very good if you're using Garchomp because shuffle your hand into your deck and draw six cards, but when you're using the Garchomp, it, his main attack is 100, but if you played Cynthia from your hand during his turn, so if you use that as well, so sometimes it's worth using that just to give him the energy boost, um, you get 100 more damage, so his main attack can do 200 damage. I've won a few matches using that, so it's very, very cool um, to use Cynthia. Uh, it's a really good Start card, uh, support card to have if you're using Garchomp. Uh, Riolo, again, energy and the skateboards are very similar to the other deck. Um, it has the same sort of cards. Professor Kukai, so exactly the same sort of cards again. Hippodon, uh, now he's the stage one evolution. Now he's good because he has a dust cannon. 10 more damage for each energy star in your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. So, like if my guy's retreat, here's four. So if you start your Opponent stars four, it does an extra 10 points for each of those, so it could effectively be 140, 150, I think, maybe. I think it only goes to four, I can't remember. But you're up to 140 anyway. So he's pretty cool, actually. Uh, Nest Ball, Energy. Now, here we go, Lucario. And uh, he's got a good move called the Precognitive Aura. Once during your turn, if you have Garchomp in play, you may search your deck for a card and put it in your hand. Uh, and Missile Jab does 70, so his basic attack is quite... Good. It only needs two um, powers, but it does 70 damage. So that's cool. Young Goose, um, he's good because the opponent reveals their hand. Um, problem is his attack, if you do 30, it takes 10 of your own damage. So it's always best to evolve him into Gumshoes, who's here now. Now you've got to identify your opponent reveals a hand. If you find a Pokemon there, this attack does 80 more damage. Now, this is easy to beat someone who's got a lot of deck, who's been pulling a lot of cards out, who's got Pokemon in there. Because every time you do that attack, it does 20 damage. But then if they have to reveal any hands, if they dealt any more cards, it does 80 more damage. It's 100 at a time. And then you've got his normal attack, which is 70. So he's pretty good all round. Gibble again. How? Uh, energy, timer ball, type null, he's very good. Uh, he's got merciless strike. If your opponent's active Pokemon already has any damage counts and attack, it's just 30 more damage. So his first attack can do 60. And then headbang, which is 70. Obviously, his evolution, who isn't in this deck, unfortunately, is also very cool. Uh, Palpad, uh, Professor Kukai, more energies. A Cynthia again to use with Garchomp. Your normal Garchomp rather than your shiny. Uh, energy, Gabite, Riolu. Uh, energy again, Spirit Tomb, Rescue Stretcher, and How. Soul Rock again. Uh, that's pretty cool. And we've also got another energy, uh, Young Goose again, Hippopotamus, 
Energy, Nest Ball, another Gumshoes for our Young Goose, a Big Malasada, heals 20 damage and removes any special conditions, and then a Gibble for your Garchomp. So there you go. So as you can see, most of the characters in that are quite strong, and they have quite strong attacks, and that's what this deck's about, getting uh, sort of fast evolves, and then getting uh, fast attacks. So that is it, guys. So that is the two decks from Ultra Prism. Um, and that was the uh, Imperial Command deck and the Mac Strike deck. Now, what we're going to do is obviously we're going to do a lot more Pokemon cards going forwards. Um, so stay tuned for these videos as well as our normal videos. Uh, but we are going to do the new set that comes out very soon. We're going to do try and get both of the theme decks for that. And we'll also do some other decks and other types of card sets as well. So that is a very brief rundown. Um, please do feel free to leave any questions or any comments in the box um, because we are quite new to the Pokemon cards, but we have got into it quite well and we, we understand the game quite well. So if you have any queries, any questions, anything you want to know about any of the cards, please do leave us some comments and we will try and answer you uh, where we can. And let us know if it's something you do, something you play, if you've got any cool decks, if you've got any of the championship decks and things like that. We start collecting those as well and we do some videos on those. Uh, but we just hope you've enjoyed our first of many Pokemon trading card videos. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our other cool videos by clicking above.